Welcome to Homeschool Life's YouTube channel. My name is Michelle and I'm going to teach you how to do upcoming event widgets for your website where if a member clicks on it, they can view an upcoming event and sign up from that area. So you can see here on my home page of my private site, I have three widgets that I've created into a table with some upcoming events. If I click on the event, it'll open up to the calendar and it'll give me the description and I can go and sign up for it. So I'm going to show you how to do the next three widgets next to it. And the reason why I do two different tables is because when I shrink the screen down to look to see what it'll look like on my mobile devices, you can see the three columns here. But if I continue to make this longer, it would scroll off the screen and it would become smaller. So I divided it into two different tables. That's what we will be doing today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to our admin side and I'm going to go to settings, home page, and this is where we're going to be working on the widgets. And I want to go to my private home page. If your public and private page are coupled together, meaning they're identical, then you won't have to go to the private page. But if they are decoupled, where you have different information on your private page as you do on your public, then you're going to want to go to your private home page. So we're going to do that. And I have already created this row with a widget called Upcoming Events. And it's created as an editor. And so now I'm going to click on Settings. And I'm just going to maximize my screen so it's bigger and we can see what we're working on. OK, so at this point, I have my table and I want to create a table next to it. So I'm just going to put my cursor after it and I'm going to click on the table icon. And the table that I have set up has two rows and we're going to create three columns with a border size of one and we're going to align it to the left and the width I'm going to just put as zero because my images will uh, resize the table to what it needs to be. And my cell spacing is going to be 6, and my cell padding is going to be 4. And we're going to hit OK. So here's my table. It looks pretty small, but once we start putting the pictures in here, it'll be it'll enlarge itself. So for my first photo, I'm going to go to my image icon, and then I'm going to browse the server, and it's going to take me to my uploaded files. And I have a file here. It's kind of like a filing cabinet here, your uploads. So I'm going to go to Upcoming Events. I've created a, a subfolder called Upcoming Events. These are the events that have already been posted. And I have three new events that I'm going to post on here. So I'm going to go to Upload to bring those photos in from my computer. OK, at this point, I know what those uh, events are. One is the couple's night out. I'm going to choose that. Uh, standardized testing, so I hold my control key down while I click on it. That way I have two items that I've selected, and um, I can only imagine movie night for mom. So I'm going to download or upload all three of these at the same time. You could do one at a time, but if you know what you want in your uploads, you can do um, more than one at one time. So I say open, and it's going to upload it, and here's more pictures. So the first thing I'm going to work on is our couple's night out. I'm going to double click it and it brings it in, but it's fairly large. Um, the photos that I have on my widgets, this width is 125. And notice when I change the 125, it also changed the height. But I want to change the height to 99. If I try to do it, now it's changing my width because they're kind of locked in together. So let's change the width back to 125. There's a little lock icon right here called lock ratio. You can see it if you open up the screen a little bit more. Here it is. It was underneath the box. So we're going to unlock it so I can change this to 99 without changing the height. And I'm going to give it a border of 5 just because I like borders. And I'm going to say OK. So here's my first photo. I'm going to tab over to the next cell and I'm going to click on image. And the next event, I'm going to browse my server, is going to be standardized testing under my upcoming events. So I'm going to go to standardized testing. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to change the width to 125. And notice it changed the height at the same time, so I want to unlock the ratio. And I'm going to type in 99. <clears throat> and then I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to put it as a border so I can match the height of that. <clears throat> and then I'll tab over one more time for the next photo. 
and I'll click on image, browse my server again, and I'm going to bring in some upcoming events. I can only imagine. Double click on it, change the width. I'm going to unlock the ratio and change this to 99 and give it a border of 5. Very good. Okay, so now we have all three of them. It looks a little awkward right now, but it'll change. Then I'm going to go to my next cell and I'm going to give it the title of the event. So it's this couple's night out. Then we have standardized testing. And then I have a night at the museum. And I'm going to highlight each of these cells and I'm going to bold my letters and I'm going to center it. And then I want to give it a yellow background just to kind of make it stand out. <clears throat> so I'm going to right click in the cell, choose cell, cell properties. And right here I'm going to change the background color. So I'm going to go to choose. And you can pick any color you want. I'm going to pick yellow and I'll hit OK. And OK. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay. So before we save this, what we want to do is we want to link each of the pictures to the calendar event. So if I take you back to my member side, if I click on the event, remember it takes them to the calendar event. So the first one here is our couples night out. So I'm going to take you to our calendar on our member side. Now I don't want to take them directly to the sign up because I want them to be able to read the description of each event. So we have our couples night out. I'm going to find it on the calendar, which is right here. And I'm going to click on it and it brings me to the description. So I'm going to go to the URL. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to copy it by saying control C to copy everything in there. I'm going to go back to the widgets that I'm working on. I'm going to highlight it. Okay, so I'm going to click on the link icon and then I'm going to paste in the URL and say OK. Now we're going to do that for the standardized testing. So we go back to our member site, go to the calendar, find the standardized testing, which is right here. Click on it. Click on the direct URL and control C to copy. Go back to the widgets on the admin side, go to the link, paste in the URL and say OK. And one more time for the night at the movies. We're going to go to night at the movies night out here, click on it, click on the direct URL, hit control C to copy it, go back to the widget, make sure it's highlighted, click on the link icon, paste in the URL and say OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and minimize my screen so then I can save it. I'm going to go back to the member side, go to my home page, and here we have it. Now, notice how my widgets went underneath, but that's not the way I want it to look. I want it to go to the right, so it's on the same row. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go back to the widget and go to settings. I'm going to maximize my screen. And um, if you notice, if I right click on here and go to table properties, it says zero PS. Let's try to delete it here and save it and do the same thing with this table properties, make that the zero. Let's see if it kept it out. If not, I'll show you another way. Yes, it did. Okay, there we go. And then just hit the minimize again, save it, refresh, and now we're one row. So this is the way I like to have it. Even when you minimize this to look at it as a mobile, now it goes down to the second row. So if I had it in one table, it would shrink it down even more and it wouldn't look good on your mobile devices. If you have any further questions, please contact us through your admin site by going to your admin homepage and creating a ticket.